Hi, my name's Mandy. The reading for today is from Luke 23, 1 to 25. Then the whole assembly rose and led him off to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We have found this man subverting our nation. He opposes payment of taxes to Caesar and claims to be the Messiah, a king. So Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so, Jesus replied. Then Pilate announced to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no basis for a charge against this man. But they insisted he stirs up the people all over Judea by his teaching. He started in Galilee and has come all the way here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean. When he learned that Jesus was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at the time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was greatly pleased because for a time he had been wanting to see him. From what he had heard about him, he hoped to see him perform a sign of some sort. He plied him with many questions, but Jesus gave him no answer. The chief priests and the teachers of the law were standing there, vehemently accusing him. Then Herod and his soldiers ridiculed and mocked him. Dressed him in an elegant robe, they sent him back to Pilate. That day, Herod and Pilate became friends. Before this, they had been enemies. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers and the people and said to them, you brought this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I've examined him in your presence and found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod for he sent him back to us. As you can see, he has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore, I will punish him and then release him. But the whole crowd shouted, away with this man, release Barabbas to us. Barabbas had been thrown into prison for an insurrection in the city and for murder. Wanting to please Jesus, Pilate appealed to them again, but they kept shouting, crucify him, crucify him. For the third time he spoke to them, why, what has this man committed? I found in him no grounds for the death penalty. Therefore, I will have him punished and then release him. But with loud shouts, they insistently demanded that he be crucified and their shouts prevailed. So Pilate decided to grant their demand. He released the man had been, who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, the one they asked for, and surrendered Jesus to their will. How does this passage speak to me? Even those with authority can be overwhelmed by public opinion. Both Pilate and Herod found no basis for the charges against Jesus. Those in authority agreed that Jesus had done, not done anything that warranted death. The chief priests, the rulers and the people were all the ones in a frenzy and demanded that Barabbas be released and Jesus be crucified in his place. It is scary that those in authority can be swayed by the frenzied mob in this way. Pilate appealed to the crowd three times and yet the crowd could not be swayed by reason. In the end, he granted their demands. And is there an application from the text? Sometimes it's just easier to just do the wrong thing, especially when that's what everyone else is doing. It can be difficult to do the right thing when it makes you have to stand out from the crowd. It is all too easy to stay within my comfort zone. I can remember times when I should have gone to someone's defense, but was silent. There are times when I've stood up for what was right and no one backed me up. I feel better about the times that I did the right thing, even though it was scary at the time. I wish I had the courage to talk about my faith more with others. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus who lived a pure, perfect and holy life. Jesus never did anything wrong and committed no sins. Jesus took everything we ever did that was wrong and paid the price for it on our behalf. Help us to be more like Jesus. I pray that we are all able to stand up for what is right no matter what other people pressure us to do. Help us to speak out more about our faith and not to miss an opportunity to share the good news of Jesus. Amen.